Good day to you, my trading friends. It's Thursday, December 3rd, 2020, and your cherry bomb trade is in for today. You're pretty pretty good if I move the mic where I need it to be, right? <laughs> so, I got excellent news. Yeah, we're doing a vertical today, but did you see what it says right there? It says short call. Short. It's, it's going to feel good to click the sell before the buy, right? Rather than the buy and then the sell. We're looking at doing a short put vertical, short call vertical. There it is, short call vertical in diamonds. Diamonds is the ETF that tracks the Dow Jones uh, average or index, right? And uh, it has a liquidity rank of three out of four and an IV rank of 17. But if you get the email from Tasty Trade, Tom Preston does talk about why, even though that's low, you could say that the implied volatility for diamonds is higher than it was at a previous time. So yeah, I don't want to go too much into that because I kind of want to encourage you, hey, get these emails, right? I want to talk about that in just a second. But in order to do that, we have to hop in to a platform and we're going to do that right now. Hi, everybody. My name is Neil. This is Option Theory. And many of you that are watching this know me, but I, you know, recently discovered that uh, only 20% of my view time comes from my subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I guess many of you aren't subscribed and you're watching this and, and that's cool and, and hey, new people are always welcome, right? Uh, what we do here is we build out a portfolio using Thinkorswim's simulated trading platform, all right? And uh, that's what you're seeing on screen right here. And I haven't built out the trade right now. I, just, I should go back to my monitor tab. You can see the portfolio that we've built out right now, okay? Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a position to that today. and. What I'd like you to consider doing is joining us for this, where we get all the learning without all the risk, because sometimes we have a lot of little fear, maybe a lot, maybe a little fear when it comes to trading, because everybody seems to say that uh, this isn't something that you should do. You should leave it to the, the professionals, right? Well, you know, why take their word for it? <laughs> So uh, head on down to that description. You're going to find a link for signing up for Tasty Trades Cherry Bomb email list. That's something that we use four days a week. And ideally on Mondays, we'd get no, uh, you know, little comments from you or emails uh, from if you head over to optiontheory.com forward slash contact. You can send me an email with an underlying that you want to use. You don't have to do the email. You can just hit me in the comments, right? All right, go ahead and sign up for that. It's a bit.ly link. I only do that so I know if it's getting clicked. Uh, beyond that, I don't get anything. All right, everybody, let's get on with our trade for today. So we're going to head to this Analyze tab. We're going to be an Ad Simulated Trade. Type in DIA into this box right here. That's Diamonds. We're going to be in the January 8th weekly expirations with 36 days to expiration as of today, December 3rd, uh, which, of course, does affect some liquidity as well, right? I don't really want this last year. I recently reinstalled Windows, so some things off are off here. What I'd like to see is looking for open interest. There we go. I don't want net change. I want Delta. There we go. Things are looking good now. Like it. All right, so we're going to be over here in the call side. So normally, we've been doing these uh, long debit spreads, and we hang out right here at the money. So it feels good to slide down here. We're looking at a selling the 309, which is a basically a 30 delta. Does not have a lot of open interest, which is not shocking for a weekly's expiration. But even then, I've found diamonds to be, uh, you know, uh, less liquid than the other ETFs. So just let's compare that real fast to the January monthlies with 43 days to expiration. Because to me, that might make a more compelling and here I can see why here we have a an issue of five dollar wide strikes in the monthlies. So you'd be doing a 310, 315 on this one, five dollar wide, um, but way more open interest, a lot more, right? So why don't we go and we'll consider that as an alternative for the IRA and see what that looks like. So let's scroll up here and go to the January 8th, January 21st, excuse me. Nope, January 8th, 2021. <laughs> I'm going to get this right. And so we're looking at 309. We're going to sell that one here. It feels good to click the bid first. Click on that bid for the 309. Hold down the control key. Click on the ask for the 311. And we have created, finally, a red Reddit vertical. 
right here and uh yes that's that's fantastic so uh, according to the cherry bomb we should be able to get 60 dollars for this one but <laughs> Uh, with looking at the futures over here being down 0.2%, there's a good chance that this will end up being, uh, you know, opening down and therefore be worth less. But you know what? I'm going to plug, plug it in the way that we see it in our Cherry Bomb email. So we're looking at a 60 cent credit for this guy here. One contract worth. You can do as many contracts as you feel is appropriate for you, but we do ones here. Trade small and trade often, right? Five days a week we're doing trades. Okay. So I'm going to click on this risk profile now that we know or we've built the trade. Let's move on to check our probabilities. We have a January 9th expiration here. So I'm going to set that to January 9th. There that is. I'm going to expand out my expected move. There we are. And I'm going to move my price slices to break even. There we go. That's some higher probability of profit that we'd like to see here. That's what's great about short premium, right? We're looking at a 70%, almost 71% probability of ending up on or to the left of this gold price slice, which means we will profit on this trade, right? A maximum of $60. I know that may not be terribly exciting for you, um, you know, $60, but I'll tell you, a lot of little wins add up. And let's just show you that proof there, right? So over here, profits and losses, you're going to see uh, up here, let's start it this way. Here are the losers we've had over the past year. And then all of the little winners, right? <laughs> so the little winners, they can certainly add up. Right? And that's here with this crazy gap up in United Airlines that's kicking our butt. And we haven't touched it since. We got, uh, we got smacked by United Airlines. Uh, and we got out before that one uh, could hurt even more. All right. So let's head back to this Analyze tab. Now that we see our probabilities in this one, I'm gonna right click this trade. We're at the confirm and send phase where we confirm the, what we can make and what we could lose. We have a $60, a $60 uh, po max profit. We're gonna to look to manage this and take it off when we get to either 21 days to expiration or 50% of the profit. We could lose, of course, the width of the strikes is $2 minus this profit gives us our max loss of 140, right? And there is a chance of us taking that max profit of 30, I'm sorry, max loss of 30% on that one, right? And uh, yeah, so so that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and click send on that one. That's gonna move this over into my monitor tab into my working orders. And this is where I wanna take a look at that alternative for our IRA account, where we have two losers, right? These This was an earnings play. Uh, no, that wasn't an earnings play, that was beyond. This one here was just us taking a crazy try at a pharmaceuticals, right? Uh, this one went from being a loser to a winner and back to a loser, but it's defined risk so we can sleep. <laughs> we can sleep at night. All right, so let's go to the back to this analyze tab, choose add simulated trade. We're going to be in diamonds again, but we're going to this time take a look at your uh, monthlies. And let's head on over here. We're going to go down to the 310. And we're going to sell that one. And we're going to hold down the control key and click on the ask for the 315 for a $5 wide uh, vertical. Here we're looking to collect a $1.38. And let's quickly do a calculator on that one, calc, right? Just to take the proof here and put that in the pudding. Let's see if we're collecting this. So well, 138, right? Times three not quite one third the width of the uh, strikes and that's okay right um because we'll see what we're getting probability wise in this one in just a second so ideally we'll we'd, we'd be getting this would be equal five dollars right but it's not so let's head up to this risk profile and see what we're looking at for this trade so different expiration on this one going to be the 16th I can move is a little bit bigger and that's fine. All right, so let's take a look at our probabilities. We were at a 70 or 71% probability on this one. Here we have very similar probabilities. Uh, in this case though, we're looking at a slightly higher 72% probability of profit on this one with a max profit in this case, not $60, but $140 pretty much, 138, right? So we could look to manage this at around $70 profit. So if you're looking to potentially make more, 
All right, of course, you could also potentially lose a lot more. Instead of $140 of maximal, maximum possible loss, you could lose 362. If you're okay with that amount of defined risk and a probability uh, this high for making your money, then that's something you might wanna consider. I'm gonna throw this one into the IRA. I'm gonna right click this trade, choose confirm and send, review everything that we just said about max profit and max loss, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit send on that one. Why not? Let's see which one performs better, right? That's what we're doing here in option theory. We're testing our theories. Now, I also wanted to take a moment to hop over into Tastyworks, if I could just do that real fast. Uh, I don't know why um, it's not showing up, so let me, uh, let me give that a whirl. You should be seeing Tastyworks right now. Sadly, we're not seeing that. So I'm going to try to rectify that. Tasty works. There it is. I apologize for that black screen of death right there for a little bit. I don't know why that was there. Okay, so yesterday I made the mistake when I was filming this. Uh, you know, I, I keep making mistakes in general. So what I should have done uh, is hit this key, and then that brings, it's supposed to bring my cursor up on screen. I don't know why it's not. Boy, I'm struggling. But I realized yesterday after I made the video that uh, I didn't switch back to Thinkorswim. But anyway. Here we are, we're looking at the diamonds. This is the trade we put on from the cherry bomb trade. Notice that there's an 82% P50 on this one, right? 82% chance of us taking the $30 and running. So let's take a quick look and see what our monthly trade that we put in the IRA would look like uh, probability wise. Nope, I made a mistake there. It's 310, 315 on this one. So we're looking at a 92% probability of taking half of that $138 on that trade. And there's 71, they're saying on this one. We saw a 72 in Think or Swim. So there that is. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope that helps you make a decision. And if you've made it into this, this far into my video, you definitely deserve a thumbs up. I really appreciate the fact that you watch these videos as far into it as you do. And uh, if you felt that I've earned a thumbs up for this video's content, would you mind hitting that thumbs up button? Of course, like I said, I've just discovered that many of you are, most of you are, are new viewers. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, you can do it. It's all right. It's not a big commitment. We're, we're fairly liquid in this one. If you decide to subscribe and then decide you don't want to be subscribed anymore, you can get out of that trade real fast. Okay, I promise. But uh, when you do ring, uh, hit that subscribe button, would you please ring that bell so you'll be notified when our videos are released because you can get in those trades when we get into them. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. And if I can, I'll, say I'll see you tomorrow in the final Cherry Bomb trade of the week. Until then, happy trading.